very simple video today. It's uh, the pursuit of God is the pursuit of truth. Tabagat pot. Okay, so people often say the whole point of their life is to know everything. And by everything, I, I mean, I, I don't mean everything. I mean, you want to you wanna learn, you want to enjoy science, you want to you wanna know what can be known, right? People, people love science. By science, I mean discovering new things. Science these days is actually ill-defined. We can do another video about that. Anyway, so... Today we know a bunch of cool stuff. We know a bunch of elements. 120 right now, I think. We know a lot about planets, where they came from. For example, we know Jupiter was twice as big when it first was formed. And it's slowly been losing mass every year. Things like that, very cool. We've learned what quasars are. We've come up with quarks. We know that there's anti-particles that exist. Lots of fun. You know, there's still some things we don't know. Like, um, we know that the dinosaurs had feathers, but like, we don't know um, <coughs> exactly how much, how much feathers they had, you know. Was the T-Rex very flamboyant or was it completely heterosexual T-Rex? These are things that we don't know. Again, um, was it very flam flamboyant? Oh gosh. People think this is good? Well, whatever. Anyway, yeah, there's a, some things we'll never know, unless, unless, of course, two, two possibilities. Here's our life, the length of our life, and here's, like, the amount of knowledge we gain. So we have two options if we want to find out all the secrets of the universe. One option is to extend our life forever, aka eternal life. Eternal life, of course, requires the existence of a supernatural being. Well, I suppose, not necessarily. I mean, maybe we could figure out how to live forever, assuming there is no God. But will it be found in your lifetime? Or, if it is found, will you die by accident anyway, through the power of an elf? Like, you know, the elves in Lord of the Rings, they're immortal, but they can still die. Um, so you're kind of taking a risk. The other alternative is to assume that one can gain infinite knowledge here and now. So, you know what, let's just assume at one point you obtain enlightenment. And you're not you learn everything you will find out whether the the t-rex was a closet homosexual or you know a regular family man but uh, how's this gonna happen how are you gonna find out anything everything I'm gonna assume it, you'd require some sort of encounter with God so yeah either way if you want to find out all the secrets of the universe everything cool that there is to know you gotta you know look for God uh, I can imagine people saying yeah well what if I don't want to know all the knowledge there is what if I'm happy stopping at a certain point it's like all right well okay if that certain point is at some point in your life like you decide at some point in your life like yeah I've learned enough um, that's brave and I respect that um, however, if the alternative is, you know, you've reached your max when you've 
died. So that's the point where you you're like satisfied um, with how much you've learned. Let's be honest. The only reason you're picking that point is you know you know you're gonna die. So you're saying that's good enough. If you could live longer, you know you'd be happy to learn more. And even if you set a point somewhere in the future, like let's say right here, but you died right here, well then, you know, you get, you lived a less fulfilling life. Basically, if you want to learn more science and all that stuff, find out what happened at the beginning of the Big Bang and after and when the quarks got together and stopped being in the quark liquid and other things about the universe we have no idea things too far to see with telescopes things that no microscope can show us well the pursuit of god is the pursuit of truth <laughs>